Hi, I'm Doug Casey, and you're watching Market One Minute. I'm here with Brian London of Netcore Technologies today. Brian, I was a, uh, an original investor in Natcore when it was a private com company. And the reason I did that is because for many years I have been bullish on the prospects of solar energy. Right. What's going on in the solar field generally? And if you remember, Doug, you invested when it was a private company. There was Natcore Technology didn't even have a name yet. And at that time, it was largely a nanotechnology play, which you've been one of the really early advocates the world over of, of the potential of nanotechnology. And we, we still have those applications. But we're in solar right now because solar is growing. People don't realize that solar energy throughout the world is growing at over 20% annual rates of growth, compounded annual rates of growth. Uh, if it was a stock chart, it'd be an undeniable place where you would have to invest and it just keeps going. And what people don't realize is that solar energy has advanced to the point where it is not only competitive of conventional, but, but actually at a significant advantage to conventional energy. Throughout the world, a lot of developing countries where they have high costs of power, and even in, in the United States, at, in 14 states right now in the United States, their cost of power from conventional means is such that solar energy is the, uh, the, the competitive, the economic advantage. I agree, I've been a car guy for my whole life, right. and at this point I think electric cars are going to push gasoline cars off the road. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with Natcore's technology in particular? The, the key with Natcore is that we have an application that uses a solar cell structure that has proven to be the most efficient in the world. It has the world record for power output or efficiency. Uh, uh, it was developed by Panasonic and Sanyo years ago, but they've never been able to manufacture that because it's a very complicated structure. It's not conducive to mass manufacturing. What we've been able to do is take that basic structure and instead of using the complicated layers, we replace those with foils, aluminum foils that eliminate the cost of silver. Silver contributes 40 to 50 percent of the cost of a solar cell, and we can replace it with aluminum at 1 300th to 1 400th the cost. And the key is that we maintain that very high efficiency structure so our power output, our efficiencies of these solar cells will be among the best in the world at a fraction of the production cost. Well, there have been some solar companies that have crashed and burned famously right. in recent years. What are the big stumbling blocks that you see for Natcore? Well, those companies made the mistakes of, of trying to actually produce solar cells. And as you, as you know, it's a highly competitive, commoditized industry. And these companies are fighting for fractions of a percent of market share every day and fractions of a percentage, percent of performance advantage every day. Uh, our technology will enable them to get over a 30%, we conservatively estimate, advantage immediately, a generational improvement in performance in solar cells. So our idea is not to manufacture cells, but to sell that technology on a royalty basis to the manufacturers. So we frankly don't really care who wins the market share battle, because we know we're going to be selling to them at the end of the day. So. Where are you going to market this mostly? Uh, is it going to be manufactured and used primarily in the U.S.? Are you looking at China? Are yeah. you looking at desert areas of the world where there's lots of sun? The world over. The world over. What we'll do is we'll market the equipment to manufacture our cells and we'll make a, a, a royalty on that. Uh, we'll have the equipment manufacturers make it to our specifications, pay us a markup when they sell it to their customers. The solar cell manufacturer will pay us a royalty on every cell that goes out. Not too much of a royalty, but just enough so that we're making a, a, a nice profit on each cell that goes out. There's really no product cost. We'll also make a profit, a royalty, on the materials, the aluminum foil that are shipped to the manufacturers. We're working with manufacturers right now to, uh, to find suppliers where we'll make a royalty on that. So the equipment, the materials, and the cells themselves will get royalties on that. And as you know, when you can make a royalty, you don't have the product costs and your margins approach 100%. No, no, it's a, a much better business plan methodology than right. trying to get into the manufacturing yourself, I agree. So from the consumer's point of view, 
depending on where you are in the world, you're paying anywhere from six to 35 cents per kilowatt hour right. for electricity. What do you think NatCore is going to be able to deliver things at electricity? Well, we haven't quantified it uh, to that degree, but I would think at the low, very lower end of that range. One of the key things that we projected and have been able to, uh, to figure out is that if you can get efficiencies over 20% on a solar cell, that means that the majority of homes in North America can get off the grid, total grid independency. And that alone is an advantage. That alone is a benefit that uh, it, you don't have to be the low cost alternative. People will actually pay just to be completely independent from their power source. And how about the capital costs for installing a facility? Uh, none for us because we'll be collecting the royalties. But the, the process that we'll be able to employ will be a roll to roll process. So it's the the uh, least expensive manufacturing process really ever invented by man. Once you get the machinery going, every piece of, uh, pro every product that goes out the back end amortizes all of that cost. So it's a very high speed process. The foils will go onto a silicon substrate. They'll be welded on there by lasers, which will then create the, uh, the architecture of the cell in a very uh, quick, efficient manner. We're talking fractions of a second per cell. So tremendous fr throughput. So how long is it going to last once you install? Every solar cell has to uh, be proven to, to last uh, over 20 years. And that's kind of where your uh, NPV calculation goes off anyway. But every solar cell is, is warranted to last about 20 years or more. So our product, we think will, we'll, because we're still using solar uh, or silicon substrates like conventional cells, will be able to fit uh, industry norms or exceed them. So when do you think NatCore is going to be able to see its products installed and used by consumers? How long? We're looking to commercialize the technology within 24 months. In the meantime, we're also uh, getting involved on the solar power plant installation end of the business as consultants. So we think we'll be able to generate enough revenue from that end of the business to fund our R&D without significant further dilution. So you're talking about revenue coming in this year? This year, yes, absolutely. Well, that is a pleasure and somewhat unusual for an R&D company, which right. you've been for many years. We're very excited about that. Yeah, well, I am too. What, what's the big pitfall? What do you think could go wrong? What scares you? That's a very good question. Um, I, think, uh, I think if we had any kind of uh, trade problems with the new Trump administration with China, China is the big dog in the solar world. It's the largest uh, producer of solar cells. It is the largest consumer of solar cells. And you have to approach China in a very careful manner. You have to have, in our opinion, and it's our business model and goal to have local partners in China so we get all of our intellectual property protection within China. Uh, and we think that will do a good job of protecting us. But we, we don't need a trade war with China. Well, the technology works. You're confident of that? Confident, yes. You'll be able to license it to manufacturers and collect a royalty, correct business plan. Mm -hmm. The cost of generating electricity is going to be low. There's still further improvements that you'll likely be able to make. Mm -hmm. Looks Very, like a slam dunk to you, doesn't it? Well. <laughs> For a 20 or 30 cents stock, yeah, it's got my attention. Yeah, the upside is what is really exciting because if we can capture a percent, significant percentage of the solar cell market, and we think we'll do uh, the majority of the solar cell market with the advantages we're able to bring, uh, the numbers on those royalties tumble to a degree that, um, uh, frankly, we can't even share them because they seem so fantastic. How many competitors do you have in, in this segment that you're looking at? Well, for our technology, none. We have uh, about 60 patents uh, granted or uh, applied for pending. We have uh, uh, Loctite intellectual property protection. We don't see any competitors at all. Hmm. It's hard to say what the value of those patents alone would be, forgetting about the potential income stream. We of the have company. to prove the value ourselves, so we're going to be doing that. Okay. Brian, you've got my attention. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Doug.